Alexa, ask Garadget to open the door. Opening. So you can see it opened the door, then after it opens, you can ask uh, Alexa to close it for you. Alexa, ask Gradget to close the door. Closing. Welcome to All Things Tech. Today we're going to be talking about Gradget All Things Smart. It's a beautiful new device that they have that you can open up your garage door by talking to your um, Echo or right through your phone. Right, so let's open it up and uh, we'll see what's inside. Sure. It's bringing a new, uh, like getting a new Christmas gift or something. It is. Yeah. It comes with a sheet here saying if you have any problems, uh, this is where you could help. Gradget.com slash start. The usual stuff. Yeah. Fine print you never really read. But... It comes with sure. uh, the cable, which is a signal cable, which uh, here is actually your Gradget. It, sticks underneath your garage door opener with uh, sticky tape, double-sided sticky tape. It goes underneath your garage door. And what it does, it sends a, a beam of light to your garage door. And that beam of light gets reflected back. So if it sees the, the reflector, that means the garage door is closed. If the garage door is open, it doesn't see the reflector, so it knows your garage door is open. Yeah. So that's how it tells it if it's open or closed. Yeah, pretty straightforward. How it controls it is that you uh, you have it powered up. You, hopefully you have like a power above your garage door opener, which you should. Which you should, yeah. yeah. Then what you do is uh, you plug in this cable here to the back of your garage. Then these two cables here go to where they go to where your wall button is on the wall for your push button, right. which opens and closes your garage door. So the same two wires that operate your push button operates the gadget. So when you use your phone or your app to open and close it, what it does is it sends a signal from your gadget to the opener and says open and close. Right. So it's very simple Pretty like that. Pretty straightforward, yeah. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. So we're going to show it up and we're going to show installing in a minute. Okay. You can also use it with your Amazon Echo. You can have Alexa open and close it because it is open source. Right. So it, uh, it has the option to do that, open and close. And even check the status. You can say, "Gadget, what's the, Alexa? What's the status of my gadget?" And it'll say, "Open or closed." Right. So we are going to go out and install it and uh, try it out. Right. Install it on the garage door. But before we do, we can say, if you want any more information on this, you can just uh, click down below. There is uh, links to where you can get more information, and you can actually see it on Amazon. And mm. it's, I believe right now it's about eighty-nine dollars. Um, but check below, sometimes the price might uh, yeah, change. change for sales, whatever, but uh, that's all down below. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's go out there and yeah. um, let's, let's set it up. Yeah, you see how easy it is. So we're in the garage now, yep. and uh, we're going to attach the garage to the garage door opener. First, since we're down here, we just install the, the two cables to the back of the garage. Very easy, they just go in, screw tight. The other end goes to the uh, garage door opener. It goes to the uh, to two wires which go to your push button on the wall. So the same wires that operate your wall push button, the gadget plugs into those same two wires. So then it sticks with this double-sided tape. So it goes on the back of here. We peel it off, then we stick it onto the back of the garage door opener, and we just give it the, the power, which is also above two. Okay. So let's do that. We'll power it. Plug it in, power it on, and uh, see if it works. go through the app and we'll see how it works. Yeah. So we peel back this paper right here, we take it off, and we just stick this right underneath. Right in the middle is a good spot. These two wires, and they plug it right into there. And then we power it on. You notice the blue light is flashing. That means it's ready to be connected to the app. So now we're gonna go through the app and set up the, the gadget. Please power on your gadget by plugging it in. It is. The indicator light should be flashing blue, which it is. It means it's ready to be paired. Make sure your Android device is connected to the internet. It is, and when you're ready, press uh, ready to proceed. 
So it's going to choose your gadget. You select this one here. It's called Photon, and the last three numbers for, for letters are random. It says it's connecting to the gadget. Okay, so it connected to the, the gadget. Now it wants to uh, connect back to your Wi-Fi. So your gadget connects to your Wi-Fi. So you connect your home Wi-Fi. Then once you enter your password for your, for your router at home, you uh, connect uh, right here. Your gadget is connecting. This may take a minute. It's configuring your Wi-Fi credentials, logging into your Wi-Fi network. Waiting for device connection, checking for internet connectivity, verifying ownership. Setup completed successfully done. Now we can also install the gadget on your phone too with your app, so which I also done with my um, phone. So with the reflector, we have to line it up with the red beam of light which is shining on the door. So what we do is we just center the reflector right there. So the reflector is right in the middle of the red beam. Okay, now that we have installed, uh, the hardware is all, is all installed, let's uh, try it out. So we'll open the door. And it tells you the garage door is open and if you want to close it, you just press it again. And there you go. Now what I like about it is that you can set alerts. So if you go into alerts, if you want to set an alert uh, right here, I have it enabled so that uh, if you leave your garage door open for, uh, for say like X amount of hours, up to 12 hours from anywhere from like 30 seconds to 12 hours it'll alert you so i like it for two hours so if i leave the door open for two hours then i forget it'll send me a push notification that uh, my door is open then i can actually close it uh, remotely right here the good thing about gadget is that it can work with your amazon echo so you can use your echo to open and close your door for you like this uh, alexa ask gadget to open the door Opening. So you can see it open the door, then after it opens, you can ask uh, Alexa to close it for you. Alexa, ask Gratchet to close the door. Closing. Well, you've seen how uh, we set it up. It was fairly easy. You can have uh, Alexa control it for you. So, um, you know, for 89... So, I'm not sure. No, Alexa's not, not sure. You're not sure. <laughs> so for $89, not too bad, and it's open source, meaning yeah. you can uh, connect it with uh, your smart home too. You're right. So, um, let, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to, uh, to see more, more videos. We try to do at least once uh, a week if we can. Yeah. And uh, leave a comment if you have any questions about this video or, or us or anything. Right, yeah. or, any, or if you want to see a particular review on a product, uh, let us know. And uh, give us a thumbs up. See you later. Thanks.